Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a foundation routine. I'm just going to be showing you the steps that I take to get my face done like this. So if you're interested, just please keep on watching. All right, first we have to start with primer. Moisturize with the Pond uh, Clarent B3 Dark Spot Correcting Cream. This helps a lot with uh, evening skin tone and everything, so I like to use that. I like to go in first with the Hydrating Balm Stick from Wet n Wild. Really like this because it does give a nice cooling feeling when you apply it. And I just apply this all over just to hydrate the skin. And we're just rub it in. And it doesn't really have a smell, which is good. They also have a matte, they do have a matte one. I don't like it too much, but you know, maybe I need to use it more. But you know, they do have a matte if you know you like that matte look. Next primer is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This one I just like to focus it on where I have the most pores, which would be here in the T-zone. I like to focus it on the nose because that's where I have my most noticeable pores. Please excuse the lighting going in and out. I use daylight for my lighting. So yeah, the sun's playing hide and seek right now. You see, let me move up a little. It just, you know, smooths the skin. I like it a lot. So next, I'm gonna go in with foundation. And I have been loving this foundation. This is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. It has SPF 20, a brightening complex, and it's for all skin types. This is like really bomb. Like when I tell you it's bomb, it's bomb. Now, I'm not a full coverage person. You know, I like medium and i love how this has a doe foot applicator this um retails for about 16 dollars and i think it's worth it all right now we're just going to go in with uh the wet and wild beauty sponge and this was only five dollars and now we're just going to pass that in do you see that do you see it i know you see it it's so pretty. Okay. Now that that's all blended, we're gonna move into the concealer. Now I use two because the one I have right here, this is from Koki, and this is their Be Bright Concealer. It's in the shade Light. I should have gotten medium. I also have the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer, and this is in the shade Medium. So I just put um, both the medium, put a dab of the light, blend that out. I just put a little dab of the lighter concealer like that, and then blend it out. Really good concealer. They're both really good concealers. I really do like the Koki one, so I would like to get my actual shade. This was only $3. And the Koki one, this one right here, I believe was $8, $7, I believe. I think seven, seven. I got it at Rite Aid. I really love that foundation. It's like so pretty. Like this look. Oh, I love it. Lord. Is that foundation? Where is it at? Lord. Shout out to the physician's formula. Alright. <laughs> now that I'm done being weird.
I don't know what this weather, what's going on with this weather in Philadelphia, but I'm gonna need it to get it together. Now that we have our concealer all blended out, we're going to move into cream contouring, a wet and wild contour stick. This one's in the shade Oaks on You. This, I love it. So I just like to put a line, like a nice thicker line here, there, and then one under the jaw, like that, give it a nice little shadow, and then on the forehead area, like that, and then I just blend it out. All right, now we have that all blended. Now we're gonna set the face and set the eyes. And I just like to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, um, trans, uh, not translucent, I'm sorry. It's the banana, uh, loose powder. And I just take a little on the cap and then I just take some on the sponge, not too much. And then I go from here and then I just set it like that. And this powder is really nice. It's a really smoothing powder. See that? And I also set um, anywhere else that I put um, concealers. Clean up your cream contour a little. And then with the rest of the powder on the sponge, I just go over the face a little. Wow, whole setting powder. Next, we're going to bronze up the skin a little more. It's Makeup Revolution. This is their, um, it's a face palette. You know, it has a highlight, a blush, bronze. This is like a all-purpose like powder. So I'm just gonna go in with the bronzy shade. Very, it's very pigmented. It broke. How oh, lovely. How oh, lovely. Just gonna blend that out. Just drag it, bring it up. But I've been liking that bronzy look. It makes me feel very, you know. You know, the bronzing is more so to form the face. Nice little tan, if you will. As so. I'm gonna take um, a smaller brush, a more rounded brush, and it's like, it fits right there. And this is my Luxie 660 brush. So I just take a little and I'm concentrating it up here. You know, keeping it up here and really trying to define the cheekbone. You see? I don't normally do blush. There is one, as you saw, in this face palette. And I'm just gonna take a white fluffy brush. And then on the nose, just a little. Next, use highlight. And I'm just gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. And I'm just gonna take a little on this brush. This is a AOA Studio F19 brush. And when um, placing the highlight, you're gonna start like bring on the cheekbones. So you go down and then you bring it up here. And you just blend it out.
and I like to take some on the nose and Cupid's bow and a little on the high point. Mm. And now we're gonna set the face. And I'm just going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Setting Spray. And then I like to take um, the beauty sponge and I just like tap all over because I feel like this helps melt all the products together and you don't have like that powdery, super powdery look. And it just makes everything set really nicely. And that's it. I'm just gonna um, throw on some mascara and a quick lip gloss and I'll be right back. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll just see you guys on my next one. Bye.